So uh, pretty much his car I'm sitting in is uh, a race car built for the Winter Challenge events. It's, um, I built it, oh, I finished it in 2017 and the 2017 Wild Dog Winch Challenge was the first event that I raced in it with uh, my cousin Jake and um, we did one more event after that, Patrol Part 2018, but since then I haven't uh, done too much racing, um, a couple of small reasons, but I just haven't had the chance to race, so I will just uh, I thought I'd put it in the shed and give it a bit of a makeover and give it some new life. So, uh, pretty much what the plan is, is to turn this race car into something that I can uh, take away camping, um, whether it be overnight or, or a few days, or I wouldn't mind maybe taking it to Tassie for a week next year, so we'll, uh, it's a fair bit of work to try and fit everything on the back, but it's going to be a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but um, yeah, that's the plan. Pretty much since uh, everyone's basically in lockdown, um, I thought why not film it all while I spend nearly every second of every day in the shed, and uh, Film it all, chuck it all on YouTube as a bit of a build series and just see how it goes. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes and um, yeah, make sure you you keep on the lookout because I'll be posting pretty often. So as a quick rundown, what's uh, what's going to be happening is uh, number one thing was the compressor was mounted there and it's probably the biggest mistake I made in this car was putting the compressor in the cab. So. That's getting thrown on the outside, and um, we've got sound deadening going in. Um, rewire the 12 volt setup because the wipers are still on the dash, and I want them on the on the stalk. Um, five or six of these gauges are all going, and uh, I'll be putting a new Haltech dash, digital dash display in here with um, a GPS speedo unit, so I can actually finally have a speedo and an odometer and yeah, it's a couple of things coming up. Um, I've got a bigger exhaust housing for the turbo coming. So at the time of purchasing this turbo, this is the only size I could get, which is an eight centimeter or AR's 0.63, I think. So I've managed to chase up a 12 centimeter, which is a 0.82 AR. Um, so I'll be putting that on and uh, getting it back on the dyno. So stay tuned for that one. I should have been filming a bit earlier, but uh, I've already made a, a little bit of progress, so we'll uh, get into a couple of jobs that are going on on the back. So, pretty much first job on the list, like I mentioned earlier, compressors mounting in. I've already made up a bit of a, bit of a plate for it. And uh, I've built this up here, it's a bit of a frame that bolts onto. I've made a second mount down there if you can see that and uh, this bit of tube here that I've already bent up will be sitting there like that to brace that up and um, yeah the chairs stretches on top uh, travel buddy oven mounted underneath and uh, me fold up table sitting on the bottom under there on tray section but uh so it bolts on the back here i'll uh i'll chuck it on and, and shows what it's got, got to do so the pain of this is uh these two boxes here there's already one on each guard um got another box to to man here um another box that takes up half this area and uh fridge on this side chainsaw on the back and then probably just a water tank on this guard here. Um, yeah, you can never have too much water when you're going away. And, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's um, got water methanol injection on it. So this was the mount for the old 10 litre tank, but I've uh, got a mate making a new tank that's gonna sit in between the batteries in the cab. So about a 50 litre tank. So that'll go in there and then I'll be putting one jerry can on either side of the batteries and uh, two swags in the back and then uh, yeah the rest of the stuff on top and I'm hoping that's nearly most of it. So yeah that's just a, it's a basic rundown of a couple of things that are going on. Um, there's still a lot more to do and a lot more 
a lot more things to achieve other than what I mentioned, but that, uh, that's the gist of it, I guess. So we'll get into it and finish uh, bracing this mount off. Now that I've got these welded in, or half welded, I'll uh, measure up a bar to go that direction across the width of it, and then uh, two across that way. That'll give it a bit of a floor to hold stuff on, tie it down, and uh, give us something to mount the, the table mount underneath and the oven on the other side underneath it. So I'll uh, get that up and Beach listen to a grinder. Now we've got this all sorted out. I think it's time to unbolt it and uh, chuck the table man underneath it and uh, see what that looks like. Like the other, the other bit as well, it's uh, unboldable. So this one here, it all comes off in case I decide to race again. Can pull it all off. The spare wheel sits up on an angle and uh, it's race ready pretty much. But for now, I've got a fold out table that I'm gonna make a, a bracket up and that'll uh, slide underneath, so got somewhere to cook when we're out in the bush. Just like that. Table mount. Done. So that's pretty much it. All in welded. Uh, plenty of room here for an oven. Because, uh, let's be honest, who doesn't want an oven in any of their cars? They are definitely worth the investment. So I'll bolt him up and uh, see what it looks like. Bolts up, no problem. Looks pretty good. The moment of truth will be fitting this in here. Perfect. Shouldn't rattle around too much, pretty tight. Just gotta find a way to strap it in. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Well, that pretty much sums up the day. Um, table's mounted, plenty of room for an oven, facing backwards. Compressor mount's done. Everything's ticking along pretty good, so uh, We'll see what else we can do in the near future. Yeah, other than that, I think you know what to do and catch on the next one.